What's up guys, Primal here with Mass Tactical and the Warrior Tribe. Today we're gonna show you how to start fire with the Fresno lens. Don't go anywhere. So when it comes to fire starting, I like to go by the rule of threes, which means I like to have three methods of starting fire, or at least the knowledge to know how to make fire three different ways. So uh, ideally, I've got about three actual ways of starting fire by combustion, or you know, a ferro rod, or a lighter, or things of that nature. But there's also other mean, means of making fire, such as primitive skills, uh, such as a bow drill or hand drill fire, and everything like that. But today we're talking about sun magnification, and I wanted to show you guys how to start fire with this Fresnel lens here. It's a pretty standard lens. You can get it just about anywhere. It's really, really lightweight. It's you know you can't even notice it. It's small. It fits in your wallet or it'll fit in a, in a pack. So it's a really good backup method of fire starting. And it takes you know no real resources. All you got to have is this lens. A good bright sunny day. Uh, you know you want to do this on a day when it's you know uh, really really sunny out, no clouds or anything like that. And ideally, you know, there's a, a right time of day to do it too. Typically about between, you know, 12 and 1, 12 and 2, when the sun is at its highest peak in the sky. That's ideally when you want to try to do this. So what we're going to do is take this lens, and I like to, sh I like to do it uh, with some sticks here. And you can either get a big long stick like this, um, or you can do a smaller Y-shaped, or you, you could do a bigger Y-shaped. It doesn't really matter. It's just whatever you've got in your area as far as resources goes. Uh, so you can do a Y-shaped stick or a standard straight stick and what you're going to do is cut two slits on the left and the right side of the Y or just one right down the middle of the big one and you're just going to take your lens and slide it right into that slit and this is going to give you some leverage and it's going to be able to, you're going to be able to hold this a lot more steady than you were would be able to if you were to just try to hold the lens by itself and what you can also do sharpen the end and stab it into the ground and I'll show you guys how we can use that to angle it and get the, get the, the proper pitch uh, to get the, the right uh, amount of sunlight in the right place. Um, so again, you know, if you wanted to use the Y-shaped stick, you just cut your slits and then you can slide your lens right down in there and use it just like that. So what we need to do now is get a good tinder bundle. All right guys, so we got our tinder bundle right here and this is just a lot of dried grass and you wanna just basically birds nest it up there, really break it down and get those really fibrous uh, pieces in there. And then you wanna take your lens here. Now if you'll notice, what you gotta do is, is really concentrate on getting this light in the right spot. So if you'll notice right here on the dirt, I've got the lens at, a, at an angle to where it's pretty much just a big giant square. You'll notice as I move closer, that box, focuses down into a solid beam of light and that right there is what you want. You want it to be pretty much a small little circle uh, of pure white light because that's when it's at its its hottest and most focused point. So that's exactly what you want to do. So you, you'll notice as I'm out here it's bigger. As I go e even closer it'll get bigger again. So you got to find the right the right angle there to where it's just the right amount of light focused in the right spot. So uh, you can take your stick and you can stab it into the ground and you can get the right angle out of it and once you get it you just leave it there and you might want to adjust your tinder bundle if you need to but ideally you just want to get that right light. I, I, I've done it both ways sometimes I'll stab it in the ground and sometimes I'll just hold it but that's the good thing about having a stick like this is it makes it a lot easier to hold and control to get the right amount of light in the right spot. So what we're going to do is just find that right spot right here on our tinder bundle It might take some time. This can be a, a frustrating process, uh, but all you gotta do is just keep at it and you will get it. So we're just gonna focus that beam right dead on it. And as you can see, it starts smoking really, really fast. Uh, and that's what you want. Basically, you just wanna keep working it around in that spot. And it's gonna build up a hot spot so as it continues to smoke and continues to smoke, if you notice it doesn't catch fire or anything really fast, sometimes this will happen quick, sometimes it'll take a minute. A lot of it depends upon your tinder too. This is pretty much ideal uh, tinder for this particular type of fire starting. So we're just going to let that continue to build and we'll slightly move the, the, the light around a little bit to continue widening the hot spot. And what this is going to do 
essentially if it takes a while it's going to build up some coals uh, or, or at least a, a pile of coals if you will and hopefully with the with a little bit of wind uh, or you can blow on it bellow that up a little bit and uh, it will just ignite kind of out of nowhere So like I said, this can take a little time. Don't get frustrated with it. You might have to adjust a couple different times to get it right where you need it to be. It's all about keeping that light right in the right spot, keeping it focused. It's really easy to let it get out of focus. It's one thing I like about having this stick is it, it lets you keep it really focused a lot easier. If you were to just try to hold the lens itself, it gets a lot, easy, a lot harder. You get a lot more movement. There you have it. So like I said guys, it can take a little time, but with a little patience and a little practice, you can get a good sun magnification fire. All right guys, so that's how you start fire via sun magnification through the Fresnel lens. There's tons of different lenses out there that you can use. You can use a water bottle. You can use a plastic bag with your own pee. You can even use a piece of ice to do sun magnification fire. So I encourage you guys to take the initiative and go out there and get hands on and learn these things. I'm gonna be doing some more demonstration videos on these techniques in future videos. So as always guys, please remember to like, drop me a comment below and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy our videos and want to see them as soon as they get put up. So uh, if you're looking to take your survivability to the next level, guys, please check us out at the website at mashtactical.com and join our warrior tribe. Our warrior tribe is making a difference in the lives of others worldwide dramatically. We are changing people's lives and we are actively saving them through the things that we do. Our tribe avidly focuses on how to increase our survivability in every aspect. So we do challenges every month. We, uh, we do all kinds of different things to help you increase your survivability. So please guys, check it out and get involved and we'll see you guys in the next video.